Good morning, church. Pastor Dave here. It's a Thursday, and I wanted to share some thoughts with you today. And uh, the church has really been on my heart as uh, as I have a lot of other things. As you know that you know that there's a lot of unrest right now in our world and in our community. And it's important for us as followers of Jesus to cling to what we know is true, to cling to our, our faith and the unity that we have through the spirit of the living God. Um, and through our faith that Jesus Christ died and rose again and is going to come back and make everything new. He's gonna make everything right. And our faith is the most important thing about us. Uh, it's not our race, it's not our political views and opinions, it's not our income, it's not our stuff, it's not our status, our social status, it's our faith in Jesus. That's what makes us different. And that's what unites us to other brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. It's important that the church and that Christians come together with a common confession that Jesus is Lord and, um, and that all of these things that are happening right now are going to pass away and that one day there will be uh, peace again because of what God is doing and what, and what he will do, what he's promised to do. So I wanted to share a verse with you from the book of James, it was, which was a letter to the early church. And here's what he said in chapter 1, verse 19. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. So just a reminder today that right now it's really important for us to be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to become angry. We're hearing different people from different sides <clears throat> of the uh, racial struggle and debate, the political struggle and debate, and um, it's hard to make sense of all of that sometimes, and it's frustrating, and, um, and there's, a, there's a lot of division right now, and, and that's why I think it's so important for us to, to live uh, quiet, humble lives. Not that we shouldn't speak out. We should speak out. We should speak out against injustice when we see it. We should speak out against wrongdoing when we see it. Uh, and that's why we, um, the other night we came together here at Cross Point, and I know that was a little short notice. Uh, there's a reason for that, but um, probably about 25 uh, people came out from Cross Point Mosaic Church. Um, we had a couple friends from Southbrook Church and a couple people just from the community uh, who are unchurched right now, they came out and we knelt together for nine minutes to to speak out against um, racial inequality and to to more than that, to speak up for the gospel of Jesus and what the gospel of Jesus can do for us and for our, our community. So there's a, um, a Facebook Live video that you can check out on Facebook. If you missed that, you can kind of see what that was all about. Last Sunday, we met as a church for the first time in over 10 weeks, and it went better than I thought it would. It was so good to be back together as a church. There's about 50 people that came out to each of the services, and uh, both of the services were very exciting. I mean, the there weren't a lot of people, but there was a lot of energy, and everyone who who came out last Sunday seemed very excited to be there, and it was just refreshing. Um, yes, it was different, but it was it was so good. There, it was good to see my brothers and sisters in Christ. It was good to worship together. It was good to preach to a listening audience and a captive audience, and even the kids. You know, there was probably fifteen uh, or to twenty kids in the second service of all ages, and from very young to teenagers, and it was good. They, they, there weren't any major distractions. I, I, I didn't feel like there were any distractions for myself, and it was so good to be together as a church again. And we had the garage door was wide open. Pretty much every, every door in the, in the church was open except for the kids' rooms. And there was a warm breeze that was just filling the auditorium, and it, it felt so good to be together again as a church. Each, each service was 45 minutes or less, 
and um, there wasn't a lot of lingering before and after the services and people were able to 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 talk and to show their uh, affection in you know appropriate ways and to just to see each other face to face there's there's just something about that that is uh, on another level and it, it was it was really it really was sweeter than I thought it was going to be and I'm really looking forward to this Sunday so registration is open right now there's plenty of spots open for this Sunday and you can register for the 9 a.m. or the 1030 service again we're encouraging our more vulnerable crowd the older folks and others who may have underlying health conditions to come to the 9 a.m. crowd it's a 9 a.m. service and then everyone else to come to the 1030 service we're not mandating that we want you to, to come to the service that um, is that works for you if you really if you really want to be there um, and we're just excited to see you that's all we're, we're excited to see you also um, don't forget that Sunday June 14th that's a week from Sunday we are going to have an outdoor service one service at 1030 for everyone to come it's going to be outside hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll give you more information on that service uh, pretty soon. But I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. You can go to CrosspointWestDallas.com and register for that service today. And I look forward to seeing you this Sunday as we talk about our last, this is the last Sunday we're going to do our comeback in our comeback series. And we're going to talk about the resurrection of Jesus, but not just the resurrection of Jesus. There's another comeback story wrapped up in there that's easy to miss that we're going to highlight on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you then.